Hello, and welcome to Half Air Plays. My name is Terrence, and today we will be playing The Bureau, XCOM Declassified. Uh, now, I've already started this game. Uh, I went through all the beginning stuff. Uh, simply put, this uh, is in the XCOM universe. Uh, XCOM is kind of like a turn-based strategy game, but this game, is, as you will see, is more like a first-person game in the XCOM universe with some XCOM-y attributes, which I'll show you about. But basically, the story is this uh, occurs right before the alien invasion, or should I say, like, right when the aliens invade. Uh, my character is supposed to be bringing a special artifact um, to some secret government base. I am a government agent. Uh, when the base is hit by an alien attack and some of the other military people have been taken over by an alien consciousness. So we don't know who is really our friends, who isn't. Let me get into this. Uh, now, this game... General um, Deems. I can't believe this. All of them. Dead. Who's in command now? Falk is. And until we hear otherwise, we assume that he's in charge. For all we know, he's the president. You really think they got Kennedy? Let's go. Now. Oh, yeah, John Kennedy. This game takes place in the 60s. <coughs> and uh, you always hear me... Damn. Well, often at the end of... Uh, Jesus, what is that? Some kind of power source. Like those reactors back there. Those warp bombs they were launching into the ground? No, I think they have other plans. What does it do? I don't want to be here when it does it. Okay, at the end of my gameplay sessions, you'll often hear me uh, tell you to follow me on Twitter, uh, at Completely Full, and I talk about... Whoa! Okay, so... Now, this is one of the... Uh, the XCOM... Uh, attributes of this game. You can pause play, or at least slow down play, and you can send commands to your different uh, players. So, um, right now we're just gonna... I guess we're gonna mark this target. Are we gonna try to shoot this thing? I, I don't know. This is weird. Okay. So, there's no target in sight. Okay. Well, I'm gonna cancel because I'm not sure why I bumped into this mode. Let me cancel orders. Oh, I think I know why. I probably hit the space bar. And space bar puts you into that. Okay. I thought... Space bar does not jump in this game. I was trying to jump. That's what happened. Okay. So, we'll talk more about that in a minute. But as I said, I always tell you that I post uh, free game codes or game giveaways. Uh, this game I'm playing right here, it's over now, but last week was a free game from Humble, Humble, Humble Bundle. And if you follow Humble Bundle, you may already have this game. But, uh, so this is the type of game that sometimes you can get through free codes. And, um, you know, if you don't already have a source for finding those, just follow me on Twitter. I'm at completely full. Um, okay. What's causing all this? Keep moving. Let's take them down! There it is. Okay, so the there's some platform. aliens. Shit. Outsiders on the rail platform. <clears throat> Carter, what are we doing? We go through them. Ready your weapons. Them. I don't need to give any orders right now, I don't think. Okay, let's take a look, see uh, where my people are. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. My guy is down. Okay. Uh, so you need to revive him. Yes. He needs help. Hang on, Nils. I'll keep them occupied. This doesn't look good. Oh shoot! I have no. I gotta change my weapon. Not leaving you here, Nils. Grenade. I'll be really. Really be horrible if I die right here trying to show you guys this game. Oh. Good. And 
Anyone else? You're right there. Whew. Oh. Got him. All right. Let's get out of here before this whole place comes apart. Okay, everyone, kind of get your health back. Is there anything I can pick up over here? Or is there something over there? Uh, controlling in this game is, is kind of different. It's a little bit different than a... This will take us to the test site. What are we waiting on, for? All aboard! A little bit... Come on, you gotta come in? Whoa. A little bit different than a standard, just uh, first-person run and close. shoot, because... Carter, this is Falk. We are en route. Take the diesel to the you test do when you get close to something, they rock. lock you into, like, a cover-based shooter type thing, and you have to hit, oh, no. like, C like to, to roll out of cover, on, something. or left and right when you're in cover to move, not just forward and back. Look at that you're on a train. Firing is very similar. It's just, it's just a weird feel, but you get used to it. And once you realize that they're using the XCOM features of being able to pause and give two, orders on. to your pe uh, to your other partners, it. Uh, it makes a little bit of sense. A lot of action going on here. Yeah, tell me we're still on this train track. Get this thing going faster! That's right, we're rushing to meet a rendezvous point. If we don't get there in time, they will leave us. <coughs> There's, is it going to blow up behind us? Yeah, well, it's going to fall apart behind us. because We just made it. Hmm. Okay. If you did pick up this game for free, or if you already have and have not played it yet, just a little word of caution. Uh, when I started playing, should be playing a radio it, up there. I just hope they haven't left yet. Where would you come from? Uh, okay, I am glad that I did try this out uh, beforehand before recording, because. Uh, it was a little bit buggy. It would crash on, on me, Carter, but as it turned out, out uh, this, that was a common issue with this game. Um, the bad news it crashed. The good news is, since it was common, uh, it was only took me about took me about like 30 seconds to find a thread with a solution, and about another five to uh, determine what that solution was and actually implement it. And everything works fine now. So, uh, just word of caution: if you do play this uh, game. Uh, be prepared if there's problems don't worry too much just do a search for the problem that you're having and you should be able to find a solution now I'm picking up whatever I can as a maximum okay now I'm all full I'm all full I got everything here Let's see what guns do I have is this a sniper rifle I don't know what that is there's the sniper rifle yeah okay Yeah, tell you what, I'll just keep that. Okay. Uh, by pressing F5, they show you where your goal is. Okay. Falk, Agent Weaver, anyone? Copy, Agent Carter. Sky Ranger 1 reads you. I've got Falk and Weaver, and I am inbound to your location. Oh, boy. Yes, we have some targets going on here. Is that our guys? I have no idea if that is cancel. Are those the aliens? Look at that bomb up there. Would you rather head back to the base? Should be fine, as long as we don't start any tests. Right? Here they come! Engage us! They're, on the They're down below. Let us know where you want us, Carter. I will. If I guess, oh, there we go. Shoot. Duck. Duck down. Okay. Let's see here. Okay, this guy over here. 
I want you to move. Let's move you up here. And you see the little uh, XCOM shields there to let you Cover know there. that On my way. that is. Uh, yeah, I'm going to keep you right about there. Testing. Okay, and let's execute the order. In place. Got one. Got one. What is that? Doing good, but what are they doing? Looks oh, a drop pod. Oh, what the heck? I, let me try the other gun. Oh. Take them out. Okay, now. Are we supposed to be shooting these things? Let me grenade it. Where's Bob? Can you see him? Let's see what that does. Harder, Bill! Yeah! Come on, Bob! Come on! Four pods incoming! Where, 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 where? Over here, okay. Yeah, okay, let's Making heal heat. everyone. Healing engaged. Got him. I don't want to hear ya. Enemies dug in. Where are they? There they are. It's grenade over here. Pin down! Got him. Let me get some more grenades. And some more ammo. Enemies dug in! Okay. Whew. Where are they? We just keep firing, guys. That's all we do. There we go. Okay. Let's stock up. Restock. Carter, we're seeing enemy forces inbound to you. Oh, great. These aren't gonna stop. Sky Ranger, how fast can you clear the test site's blast radius? Blast radius? Carter, what are you... I'm gonna start the test sequence. It's the only way to keep them from following us. And get some payback. Carter. He's right, sir. Sky Ranger's built for speed, but it's no match for those outsider ships. All right, do it. Good. Let's give those bastards something to remember. Okay, so I guess we are starting a sequence. I don't know where. Ah, come on. Yeah, you lock to those hidden areas, and sometimes it's a little you bit really tricky. Are going to start the test sequence, Carter? Where am I supposed to start? There we go. Okay. Yes, I am. I'm really going to start the test sequence. Do you not hear what I'm saying? And where would that Listen, safe position be? We're not safe, and we're sure as hell not done fighting. Do exactly what I say, and we'll get through this. Yes, sir. We're with you, Agent Carter. And where am I supposed to go? And the LZ. Oh. Take on incoming! The heck? Where am I supposed to be going? You know. Okay, I gotta get there. Uh oh. Okay. We messed up. We should not be out here. Agent Carter, respond. This is Carter. Cutting it. We're coming in. Get on board. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Need help here. I'll get you back on your feet. Readjusting. This is not... You gotta get up now, sir. Okay. Uh, Come we shouldn't on, have been down here. Uh, oh, Carter. I'm hurting here. Uh, yes. Passing them off, Carter. <laughs> Oh, great. We are. There's too many of them. Wow, and they're right here. This is not good. 
Let's see if I can heal us all. Keep the pressure on him. No, I don't. Can I heal us again? No. Oh. Okay. Um. Take it out. Right. Got it. Oh, should I get to that thing? Yes. Oh, we need to get to. Where am I? How, where am I down here? Heads up! That thing's a medic. There's too many of them. Get on board. Okay, we're coming. Maybe. Oh, I hope I can make it on time. Where? Where'd the helicopter go? There it is. I'm coming. Fuck. Okay. Ah. Oh, I didn't make it in time. Ah. Okay, load last checkpoint. There we go. <laughs> start the test. Okay, now that I know what I'm doing. Start the test. E. Okay. That was just really poor. Let's get up here. And wait for the helicopter to get We're here. not safe, and we're sure as hell not done fighting. Do exactly what I say. Okay. We'll get through this. Yes, sir. We're with you, Agent Carter. And here comes another thing. More inbound! Each plane! We got it coming! Where are they? There it is! The Sky Ranger! I'm pinned down! Sky Ranger to Carter! Agent Carter, respond. This is Carter. Cutting it close, aren't you? We're coming in. Get on board. Ugh, do we need to revive someone? Yes. Uh. Oh, no? Healing engaged. Get yourself killed if you don't get on board. Okay. Getting on board. I'm getting on board. And we're in. Whew! I think we're escaping. Maybe. We'll see. Ooh, okay. We just nuked our base. This is an action game. This is kind of exciting. Mission results. Ooh. So the overview, what do we do? Aerial photography. <sighs> Aerial photography, the groom range facility indicates almost total destruction due to combined effect of the surprise attack from the unknown forces and the unscheduled detonation of classified prototype ordnance. Eff efforts to recover technology or personnel are not advised, as it is likely that enemy opposition has remained on site. The survivors of this attack exfiltrated to an undisclosed location or to Evaluate counteract options. Okay, squad status. I got 54, and I got two other people that are rank five. Uh, picked up all these different items here. An outsider. Okay, activity. Hmm. Okay, return to base. In visual range now, sir. Preparing final approach. Control, this is Sky Ranger 1 requesting permission to land. Copy, Sky Ranger. Permission granted. You are cleared for pad number 3. Gonna take more than a hole in the ground to beat those things. Just admit it, you're impressed. So, what is the Bureau anyway? Bureau of Operations and Command. Never heard of it. You were never meant to. <laughs> All right. This base wasn't meant to be operational for another year. We've called in every operative we had earmarked for the project, but, well, let's just say that we'll be a bit understaffed. Director Falk, sir. Welcome back. These two are with me. At least this location is secure. And I intend for it to stay that way. I'll be giving a report to all staff at 0300. Report to the operations room at that time. I have a lot to prepare, Carter. Agent Weaver will show you around. 
Down here, Carter. Come on. When Ivan put Sputnik up, the brass got scared. This project became top priority. Off the books, of course. Of course. That did it. Hold it there. Now don't move it. All right, people. Show's over. This is a Back to good work. camera pan. Carter, this is Nico De Silva, senior field agent. Nico, you'll be sharing your workspace with Agent Carter. I don't Welcome get my own to the workspace. most advanced facility on Earth. Falk wants him up and running ASAP. Time is of the essence. Straight from his mouth. Gotcha. Well, come on. Our office is right over here. Okay. That weaver is one tough broad. Yeah, she is. So, this is us. This is my desk here. Yours is over there. Get comfortable, Will. Things as they are. This is both your office and your quarters. Uh, do you mind if I call you Will? Yes. I <laughs> do mind. I do mind. Well, I'm not calling you Agent Carter. I might be military, but I'm not that formal. I prefer William. Yeah, well, I prefer Nico, even if my mother insists on calling me Nicholas. There are some things that are just beyond our control. I can see we'll be fast friends, you and I. Glad to hear it. My supply of friends got cut a bit short lately. That all, De Silva? Ah, for now, sure. You have any questions, just ask. And one more thing. Yeah? The old man, Director Falk. He's a hard man to impress, but you managed it. Not what I expected after reading your file. <laughs> Only pleasant surprise I've had all day. Okay, so now we get to talk. You talk by using the dialogue wheel here. Uh, you read my file. Yeah, let's do that. How many people around here know my history? We all know each other. Don't worry, you'll get to read up on us too. The old man thinks that the more attached we are to one another, the better we'll be in the field. The Bureau might be an adjustment for you. We work in teams here. Seems like you're more accustomed to operating alone. Yeah, well, I'm also accustomed to the enemy being human. <laughs> yep. An attack like this, it's gonna mean a lot of adjustment for everybody. I'm a different man today than I was yesterday, you know. Ain't that the truth. Uh, tell me about the organization. You seem like you know your way around this place. I don't typically work out of this facility. Hell, no one really did until today. I'm with the NSA. But my post for the past few months has been with a small team that reports to Director Falk. Anomalies? What type? Different types, but all, well, supernatural. Sounded silly to say it <laughs> until a few hours ago. Mostly weather oddities, but also we've been recovering deposits of this Illyrium stuff. Now, that was well, the stuff that I had to bring. I had supposed to be kept small Illyrium. until it was needed. Now people who were pre-flagged for recruitment are coming in. Well, the ones that are still alive. People were pre-selected? From where? From the military, the clandestine service, DIA, even some civvies. No one knew that they were selected until they got the call. Oh, gee. As of this morning, Falk activated the project and sent that call out. And before today? For the last few years, it's just been a couple dozen specialists. But now, we've got a lot of new squaddies to bring up to speed. Yeah, like me. Okay, where were you during the attack? Where were you this morning? Did you get caught in, in any of this? No. I was out gathering intel on a weather anomaly way out in the boondocks. Something was interfering with television and radio signals. Everything except the heavy-duty military gear. Since the attack, it's gone global. They shut down our communication just before the attack. Keep us from coordinating. Smart. Okay. Sure, but there's one way it helped us. Can you imagine the panic if the public found out about an alien attack? Who knows they haven't already. Later. I need to get myself oriented. Let's talk later. Sure thing, Will. Good to have you on board. Okay, so let's see what Sounds we have like in this place. The director's about to start. Come on, uh, let's get the good seats. So we get a profile. That was Nicholas De Salva. Okay, he's divorced. He has a family. Plum deceased. Ex-wife is living. Okay, personal record. Joined Washington D.C. Metro Department. Advanced Deputy Sheriff and High Accommodations for Field Work and began to the FBI as a legal now. During his career, the FBI is a legal analyst. Okay. And during his screening, the FBI discovered that Silva had not completed his JD degree, having dropped out of college due to financial concerns and falsified his credentials. Silva lost his job, which could lead to the question of the marriage. The FBI was impressed by his record. Uh, they recruited him. Oh, on Valentine's Day, 1952, they recruited him on a probationary basis for your work. He demonstrated a system the field. Da, 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 okay. Despite 
is a claim Agent Desai was repeatedly demoted back to probationary agent due to various moral concerns about his activities when off duty. Uh, after an embarrassing arrest in New York City, where he and a jazz singer assaulted an officer, the FBI decided to move him out of visible work at Director Felch's request. Agent Nico De Salvo was reassigned to work with me. Okay. So he has an interesting history. Something tells me. Oh, this is mine. My mother, my wife is deceased, my son is deceased. Okay, apparently this is about me. I joined the Army December 17th, 1941. I left college to enlist. Uh, I saw Action Pacific. Reached the rank of Master Sergeant. Accommodation my service in the Burma Campaign. Okay, my service ended on October 25th, and I returned to college on the GI Bill. So I had to graduate and see I recruited Carter in 1940 as a field operative. It's quick thinking and bravery served him well, and he rose to the ranks. Personal commendations from Hoover and Truman. I excelled at deep cover assignments, and I served for weeks uh, in Indochina and the USSR. 1959, during a deep cover assignment in Laos, a fire at his family home in Arlington killed his father, wife, and son. However, due to the communications blackout of his mission, Carter did not learn the tragedy and returned in 1960. Wow. Uh, he alternates between blaming himself and the agency for the tragedy. This is much in that led to his drinking problem. Following a string of disciplinary charges in December of 1960, when Carter was reassigned to domestic operations only, continued problems led to a further demotion of administrative duties. Director's addendum. Myron, this one's aggressive, temperamental, and defensive, and but he gets the job done. I don't recommend him, but the Beards Department... If you insist on him, I don't recommend a long-term position. The man used to be hero, but now he's busy destroying himself. So he's, okay, so this looks like a band of misfits. People that don't really work out in normal branches of government service. So they shuffled them off to the Bureau. Lights. Camera. Action. We are at war, and not the one we were expecting. Groom range, 2100 hours. Survivors, six. In just a few minutes, our enemy managed to destroy the primary strategic command center. By 2130, strategic command itself ceased to exist. Our combined military forces have been routed. The comms have gone dark. The red phone will not be ringing. And that is why, as of now, I, Myron Falk, am assuming command of what's left of our nation's defenses. The Bureau was founded to coordinate resistance forces in the event of a complete and successful Soviet invasion. That mission remains the same, oh. even if our enemy does not. We now face an opponent from beyond our world, whose identity is yet unknown. But make no mistake, this enemy has enemy crippled us. Unknown. They have technology decades beyond what we possess. We must make it our own. Their weapons will become our weapons. And when they do, we shall annihilate them. I give you new orders. Survive. Adapt. Win. Welcome to XCOM. So XCOM has been created. A year? Well, a year. Oh, now am I having hallucinations? Your family needs you. No. No, I can help them. <laughs> Let me help them! Will. 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 Carter. Hey, Will, wake up. Okay. <clears throat> what? Jesus, Carter. How is it you look worse than before you went to oh, sleep? Gee. I just had a freaking... You woke I'm me up. I'm fine. And you yelling for me to wake up doesn't help. <laughs> <laughs> I was not I fine. I was the one yelling. Uh. What did I say? Something about a fire. I don't know. I guess after the morning you had, it makes sense. No, this wasn't about that. 
It wasn't about Grim Range. Well, my guess is you're not the only one having nightmares after this morning. Head shrinking's gonna be a big business after this war. If there isn't after this war. Oh, Christ, that was dark. Anyway, Falk's looking for you. Wants you in his office, ASAP. Okay. Um... What does he want? Did man say what he wanted with me? <laughs> guess you don't know him all that well yet. The director doesn't tell anyone anything. He doesn't think they need to know. Uh, let's see, what's with the radio? Are you saying something about that radio? Oh, yeah. Cheap thing normally just pipes in the company elevator music. But it's been picking up some weird okay. signal. Damned if I know what it is. Don't we have more important issues to deal with? Uh, sure. Well, unless That's we're picking up the with. alien signals. But if someone on the outside is able to broadcast through that jamming signal, well... It could be important. Yes, it could. I would know more about this. Check with Operator Chelsky. She's information officer for the Bureau. Keeps track of communications, arranges okay. contacts, manages what the public hears. The whole deal. And we sleep well, in I the guess office. you can't really hold knocking off for a few against me. Seeing as how we seem to be in our office and our quarters. Yeah, I guess some parts of the emergency plan leave something to be desired. Ah, well. It'll be just like college, right? Yeah. Except I stayed in Mrs. Hawthorne's boarding house back in Terre Haute. Had my own bathroom and everything. Well, ain't you fancy. Okay, talk to you later. Okay, well, I was hoping for a little more action in this gameplay. Wants. We did get a little bit at the beginning, well. but it looks like we're going to be uh, talking and investigating things for a while. So let me check out the radio first. Let me do one or two things before signing off two. here. Message repeats. Two, five... Zero. Better make a note November. of this and talk to one of the Eight. radio operators. Nine. You probably Ten. ought to run that by Operator Chelsky across Message the hall. Repeats. Might be important. Two, five, zero. Okay. November. Eight. Nine. Two, five, zero, November, eight, nine, two. Okay. But, so, I mean, if... So this is really t just to give you a taste of... Okay, so they have the little talking symbol. I don't know if I need to speak to him anymore. What I think we're Will? pretty much... Yeah, yeah, we got all this. Okay. I better go see um, what the old man wants. See you later, Will. So this is, like I said, the type of game. Now this... <laughs> that you can get for free by following me on Twitter. Now this is, I think, a more AAA game or a higher quality game. Yes, some of the games are real losers. Some of them are really good. Uh, like I said, I've gotten stuff like uh, Payday. Um, what else have I got? Oh, Dragon Age. Uh, Dragon Age Origins. Long time ago, got that one for free. You know, then you get the little ones like little platformers like the Bibao, which we did on Bad Game Wednesday. And uh, I am looking to do another Bad Game Wednesday coming up, maybe uh, for the week of Christmas. But okay, I see. Intercepted transmission. Sir, enemies overrun us. Casualties are high. We're having trouble. Mount of Karak, the enemy was able to infiltrate and release our stores of coffee and audible. Never had a chance. Okay. So I'm going to go over here and talk to this radio operator, and then if we get a save point after that, I will sign out. So let's You're see. You're the here. dispatcher. A little more than that, Agent Carter. I'm Chief Information Officer with the Bureau. Information Officer. What does that mean? I oversee the dispatchers, but in addition to that, I also manage our public communications and keep our profile low. And for now, my job is also keeping the public from knowing the scope of the threat. Makes sense. Because rioting mobs of civilians are the last thing we need right now. Exactly. You and your agents contain the enemy's attacks, and my operators will keep the public panic level in check. And if we can't keep the enemy contained... In that case, civilian unrest is the least of our problems, isn't oh, it? Oh, yeah, it is. Um... What does the population know? They're worried about the communications blackout, but our operatives in the major cities are keeping them in line. Keeping them in line? You make it sound like they've declared martial law. Nothing as heavy-handed as that. Just a series of emergency preparedness tests. They'll be tense, but orderly. Okay. And how are we broadcasting? Isn't the enemy jamming all communications? Yes. Most broadcasting equipment is facing heavy interference, cutting effective range down to less than 5% of normal. Then how are you... Our equipment is significantly more robust. We're still communicating at approximately 90% of effective range. Okay, good. The best of the best, you know. I work good for sure. Radio's been playing a strange broadcast. Any idea what it means? I heard. It's probably an automated weather station nearby, but I suppose it might be instructions for picking up a weaker signal. A clever broadcaster could bypass the worst of the jamming that way. It could be survivors. We could bring them in. It's worth checking out. I'll have Operator Hughes run the radio while you give us the data. 
First set the range to... Oh, great. I don't remember. Set the range to 500. Now the direction? Oh, goodness. How do I know this? Can I... Uh, uh, let's... Set the direction south. And the frequency? <sighs> set the frequency to 374 megahertz. Checking medium frequency. I've taken enough of your time. Yes, sir. Okay, you know, let me go back over here. See if I can figure this one out before we go. Let's read the note. Two five zero. Okay, two five zero two fifty north. Eight ninety two. Two fifty north. Eight ninety two. Two fifty north. Eight ninety two. Okay. Let's try this again. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, Radio's been playing a strange broad. I heard. It could be survival. It's worth checking out. First, set the range to. 250. 250. Set the range to 250. Now the direction? Direction is north. Set the direction north. And the frequency? And then 892. Set the frequency to 892 megahertz. Checking ultra high frequency. Nothing. W wait. What is. It's survivors. All right. They're trying to warn others of the attack. Reply. Tell them they aren't alone. We'll do what we can to assist. We'll dispatch someone to help, but we'll also have to make sure they stop broadcasting immediately. We can't risk yeah. that information spreading. As long as they get rescued. Okay, cool. So I figured out that little puzzle. And I'm not sure who else I'm supposed to talk to right now, but... Okay, so... Oh, did it save? Uh, I can see if it saved. Well... I go this way. See if I can. Okay. So anyway, um, I'll get this figured out. If it didn't save, I know what to do. It's not a big deal. So this has been Half Air Plays, and this is the the Bureau XCOM Declassified. Uh, it looks like an RPG game with some good firefights. It really does, in a, in a sense, feel like you are inside the tip, the um, classic XCOM game, or the new XCOM Enemy Unknown game. Uh, so I would definitely, definitely, you know, at this point, recommend the game. Uh, and you can check out uh, my articles on Half Air. Just go to www.half-air.com. Follow me on Twitter. I've said it many times. That completely full. Uh, and uh, that's about all I got for now. So I hope you enjoyed what you did see. I was hoping for a little more action. Sorry about that. But it, I think it did gives you a feel for what this game does involve. Uh, so this is Terrence for Half Air Play saying thanks for watching and good night.